Hi, I'm Bianca Lugo for the Wixon Film Festival here at Utopia Studios for the panel on marketing and film. Oh, I think the Woodstock Film Festival is a great festival and it really is about the film filmmaker and the films that are being screened. Uh, if you love movies, this is the festival to come to. The first film that I can say I worked on that really benefited with online buzz was Brokeback Mountain. Um, it was a very, it was really a low budget movie. It only cost $14 million to make. Um, and you can literally see it all on screen. Uh, and but it already had a built-in audience. There were lots of fans of the Andy Gould, you know, novella, and so uh, everybody was waiting for that movie to be made. And when Ang Lee was announced to make it, there was also his following. It just sort of happened virally. You know, um, you would see something on a site, and then you'd go on the site, and then you'd email something to a friend of yours, and then they would read it, and then they would email it to their friends, and they would find out that there's another site. And so it just sort of happened organically. Um, I think that if Facebook and Twitter had been around at that time, the movie really could have exploded. I mean, the film ended up grossing um, $87 million in the U.S., which we considered, you know, a small indie little movie. I think it brings up a good point about um, timing. When, when you do publicity and marketing, a traditional way of doing it is your movie opens at the IFC Center in New York, and so everything that you need to run in the newspaper has to be the week that you open or in and around there. Now that you have the internet, you can be more free and have a little bit more creativity as far as being able to keep your film in the theater for longer, which is obviously very, very important. Um, access, uh, access other, you know, re repeat yourself. Like, if you're gonna get a Vanity Fair feature or a story in the New York Times, you're gonna get it once, and when you decide to get it is when it's gonna happen. I think the state of independent filmmaking is really varied now and that's a really good thing and a really bad thing because there's no playbook anymore. There's no actual rules that you can follow to release a film or make a film or market a film or do publicity for a film. All of it is a new venture and which means that as filmmakers and as distribution people and as marketers we have to be really um, creative in our decisions and how we decide to do that. Um, and that means that sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it's not. But you, we have the freedom now more than ever with platforms and with the content of the films to make exciting pieces and make exciting work. And I think that that's, that's, the, that's a really good thing. You've got to be your own advocate. You know, go in and meet the press office right away. Talk to them, sweet talk them, make them nice, you know, so that they, because there's a lot of press coming, they've got a lot of movies to push. And go in and you know, bring DVDs, find out what media is coming, find out who from IndieWire is going to be there, and try and get them a copy of that DVD exactly for that point of you know, getting that one sentence in their wrap-up piece on, on the movie, that, that's, that benefits your whole coming to the festival. Mm -hmm. So it isn't just people, but then everybody can read it because that goes through the internet, and that gets picked up on other blogs and other sites, and it just grows. The Woodstock Film Festival is great. I mean, it's got, it's got such a wonderful reputation. I believe this is the eighth year. And it just, you know, it's such a, a magical place and, and everybody is very excited about coming here. You know, when you mentioned some of the other festivals and things like that, but Woodstock always has the cachet of just being Woodstock. And uh, it's magic. I'm Bianca Lugo. This has been the panel for Marketing and Film. Hope you enjoyed.